Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Mark Gahey and Conor Gallagher and Tyrant Mitchell. All three of them have been um, invited to join the England squad, which is absolutely fantastic. We now have more in this current squad anyway. We have more people from Palace in the squad than Manchester United do, which is pretty good. And we're only one away from Manchester City, who have got four players in the England squad. So I think we're doing pretty well. And it's great to see Tyrone Mitchell, for example, get his call. Um, wasn't sure initially he was going to get the call, but he's got one, and it's absolutely fantastic. Even if he doesn't play a single minute on the pitch, it's the experience he's going to get from training and uh, being with the England squad is going to be absolutely immense. And uh, there was a video of him recently showing... Uh, he's training at, with the England squad and uh, he's going to learn so much from them. It's going to be brilliant. He's going to improve his career even further. And uh, we also had Alessi join the under-23s for France. Fantastic. I knew he was going to go to France. I mean, you know, with Patrick Vieira, ex-French international and um, huge legend of a midfielder who had just been indicted into the Premiership Hall of Fame, by the way. With him in charge, I couldn't see him joining anyone else but France, really. I mean, Patrick Vieira is going to be screaming for him to join uh, such a talented player, to join the French squad. And, uh, and he looks fantastic. Obviously, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how they uh, how they get on and whether whether either Alessi plays in the under-23s or whether one of our three guys manages to get on the pitch for the England games. It's going to be great. And also, one of our England games is going to be against the Ivory Coast, of course, so we may even see, see Wilfred Zaha playing against some of, his, some of his teammates if they both get on the pitch. So that would be great to see as well. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the interest in Tarek Mitchell. Now, apparently... Of course, this is just a rumour. There are a number of big clubs, including Chelsea, who um, and Arsenal, I think, as well, are, are looking at Tarek Mitchell with a view to signing him in the summer. Now, of course, this is always going to be the case. Palace, when, as soon as we get a really good player, the big clubs come swooping in to try and take him off us. Hopefully, that won't happen. I'm hoping that uh, Steve Parrish and the rest of the guys there will will be uh, saying, no, we need to rebuild the squad. We need to move forward. We need to get into Europe next season, hopefully. We don't want to get rid of our best players. We want to keep them. And hopefully that is going to be the way it goes. But let me know what you think. Do you feel that we will sell Tarek Mitchell in the summer? Or do you think that we will manage to hold on to him? Hopefully we'll manage to hold on to him. He seems really happy here. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, obviously we may lose Conor Gallagher at the end of the season. And if we do, then we want to keep as many of our other players as possible as well. Because that would be really important for us. But I'd love to hear your views. Let me know what you think about that as well. One more thing I wanted to talk about quickly was the Everton game. I know I haven't done a video on that. Um, life has been busy. But uh, I just wanted to say Super Patrick Vieira did it for us and uh, we got a fantastic result against the Toffees in the FA Cup game. Sad to see Andros Townsend going out with uh, what is thought to possibly be a, a career-threatening injury, not life-threatening, career-threatening injury. Uh, let's hope that he gets um, a speedy recovery and it's not quite as bad as they think it is because, uh, you know, he, he was a great player for us. He always gave 100%. And I know that the Everton fans have really enjoyed seeing him play when he has for them. So hopefully he'll have a speedy recovery and we'll be able to uh, rejoin at some point next season. That would be great to see. But it was a great result. A um, bit of sour grapes from... Uh, from the manager there at the end of the day from Frank Lampard, a bit of sour grapes from him, but you know, it's what, what you what are you going to expect? It's you know, he's uh he's obviously in a very difficult position. His team aren't playing well, and even though they got a good result against Newcastle, they didn't really play at all against us. You know, they were they were sloppy, they weren't really stringing too many goal too many passes together, and we had the dominating we were dominating the game for almost the whole ninety minutes. So, you know, there's a lot to think about from his point of view and hopefully it will be spurring us on to have a good game against Chelsea in the semi-final. I'm hoping to be there myself. Hopefully we'll see you there as well. Conor Gallagher looks like he's not going to be able to play in that game, which would be a big disappointment for us. But maybe Maka will be able to play and he will have a good role to, to play in the middle of the park, hopefully. So uh, it'll be good to see him in there. Either him or Hughes, I think, will be a good addition to the midfielding place of Conor Gallagher. Obviously, we won't have the, the talent that he has in the middle there, but maybe Eze can come in as well. And, uh, and give us that uh, spark in the midfield that Gallagher's been giving us up until this point, as he did play against Everton, and uh, I thought we did in fact I thought we did fantastically well. Lots of lovely little passes to Zaha and others around the box, and um, I think he looked really good. So hopefully he'll get more game time as well because uh, he's certainly one of those for the future. 
But uh, if you have any comments or anything you want to talk about, let me know in the comments to the video if you're watching this on YouTube or on my social media, Palace to the Core, if you are on Twitter or if you're listening to this as a podcast. I hope that you've enjoyed this lovely sunny weather that we've had here in the UK, if you're in the UK. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.